The card sorting is one of the methods used to design and organize the information that will be used in the final product or service. It allows users to organize information, i.e. website navigation, e-commerce products, and official information. In this method, the users are given several cards that include the elements that need to be classified. Each card includes one piece of information. There are various methods to classify information. In his book, Information Anxiety, Saul Werman introduced the latch classification system, which refers to location, alphabet, time, category, and by hierarchy. Allowing the user's sample or testing sample to organize the information elements, i.e. navigation links, this can improve user experience as the classification of information align with user's perception. There are two types of card sorting practice. Open card sorting, in this type, the organization of cards, that includes the information, does not follow a predefined groups or classifications. Closed card sorting, there is an initial classification for the users to organize cards based on it. It acts as a starting point which can be modified later during the card sorting session. Card sorting can be applied using simple sticky notes or using brainstorming online tools. In this example, we will use Mural.co. We will explore how we can use card sorting to organize coloring tools for a stationary website. Create a new project. In this board, create sticky notes and add each pairing and drawing tool in a separate sticky note. Here, I will start with the written notes. Each note includes one art tool. Share the board with the users and allow them to classify the sticky notes based on the similarity between them. In this example, the user can organize products based on different methods such as product type, alphabetic order or brands. Then, ask the users to classify the elements inside each group. Users can classify the coloring tools based on its usage. In this example, users organize products based on its type. Then, it can be classified on other criteria such as brand, and price, etc. Through observing the users and how they organize the content, the products can be organized in the online store based on the classification agreed by majority of the users. In this practice, the user's sample must be reflective to the real user's persona in order to ensure a high probability that the end users will perceive the website categorization they expect. Thank you for watching this video and looking forward to meet in future tutorials and resources. Don't forget to like and subscribe.